From colossal structures that rewrite maps to groundbreaking feats of innovation, mega projects hold the power to reshape our world and rewrite the history books. But which ones rise above the rest? Which mega project stands as the absolute titans, the record breakers, the engineering masterpieces that defy imagination? Today, we embark on a thrilling journey to discover the biggest mega project world records. Tallest Tower in the World Let's begin with the tallest tower in the world. Upon its completion, the Tokyo Skytree surpassed a landmark in Tokyo that had stood for 50 years. Erected in 1958, the Tokyo Tower held the title of the world's tallest freestanding tower at a height of 333 meters, functioning as the primary broadcasting tower for the city. However, as more skyscrapers emerged over the subsequent five decades, the Tokyo Tower experienced frequent interruptions in its transmission signals. The escalating problem prompted the need to replace the aging tower. Consequently, in 2008, construction commenced on a significantly taller structure. Approximately 100 architects and engineers collaborated on the Tokyo Skytree's design, drawing inspiration from traditional Japanese architecture, shaping its curves like the blade of a samurai sword. A critical consideration during the planning phase was earthquake resistance, given Japan's high seismic activity. With over 10% of the world's earthquakes occurring in Japan, constructing the tallest tower posed significant risks. To mitigate potential damage, the tower features a triangular base with three legs, akin to a tripod built around central pillars to reduce tremors during earthquakes of magnitude 8.0. Following an intricate four-year construction process, the Tokyo Skytree was finally completed in 2012, soaring at a height of 634 meters. This made it the world's tallest tower, surpassing the previous record held by China's Canton Tower. The construction cost amounted to $800 million, and the tower now serves as the country's largest broadcasting tower preventing signal interference with the city's growing skyscrapers and ensuring smooth TV and radio transmission. Additionally, the Tokyo Skytree functions as an observation tower for tourists, featuring two observation decks at heights of 350 and 450 meters. Since its opening in 2012, the tower has attracted over 300 million visitors. While securing the record for tower height, the Tokyo Skytree ranks as the second tallest structure globally, following the 830-meter-tall Burj Khalifa. Despite its towering stature, it is not classified as a skyscraper or a habitable building. Looking ahead, the Tokyo Skytree faces impending competition from Dubai, where plans are underway to construct the world's first 1,000-meter-tall tower. Tallest Bridge in the World Let's delve into another impressive mega-project, focusing on the world's tallest bridge. The Mio Viaduct, situated in southern France, claims the title of the tallest bridge globally, surpassing even the iconic Eiffel Tower with its towering height of 336 meters. The construction of this remarkable bridge, with a price tag of $424 million, far exceeds the heights of some of the world's most renowned bridges. Notably, it stands more than 100 meters taller than San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge and boasts a height four times that of New York's iconic Brooklyn Bridge. Opened in 2005, the Mio Viaduct not only secured its place in the record books, but also effectively addressed a significant traffic congestion issue. An integral part of the A75 motorway connecting Paris to Barcelona, the viaduct alleviated delays that plagued travelers on the old A75 due to its convoluted route and heightened traffic during summer vacations. Commencing construction in 2001, the Mio Viaduct employed innovative engineering techniques, such as supporting the bridge with seven pylons, emerging from 15-meter-deep shafts, and reaching heights of up to 244 meters. 
Diverging from the conventional approach of assembling the bridge in sections, the entire deck was constructed on plateaus and then propelled into the middle using a sophisticated hydraulic system. The bridge's curved design serves to shield travelers from any sensation of floating at such elevations. Above ground, side screens counteract wind effects while a slight incline enhances visibility for drivers. Despite its intricate design and considerable height, this mega-project was completed in a remarkably swift three years. The final bridge bypassed the Mio Valley, connecting two sections of the motorway, proving to be a resounding success over the years. With over 5 million vehicles crossing it annually, the Mio Viaduct stands as the world's tallest bridge in terms of architectural height, although it doesn't hold the record for the highest. That distinction belongs to China's Duga Bridge, perched at an elevation of 565 meters above the Beipong River. Despite its towers being only 269 meters tall, it ranks as the 11th tallest bridge globally. China is also home to the world's longest bridge, the Danyang Kushan Grand Bridge, a segment of the Beijing Shanghai High Speed Railway stretching an impressive 165 kilometers, inaugurated in 2011. Longest Train Tunnel in the World We wrap up today's video by exploring the world's longest train tunnel. Navigating diverse terrains such as rivers, hills, and entire cities poses challenges for railways, elongating train journeys, and subsequently the transportation of goods. In the 1990s, the Swiss Alps confronted a similar predicament with most goods transported by trucks negotiating the winding mountain routes. Fraught with the risk of traffic congestion, road accidents, and extended transit times, particularly during snowy winters. To address these challenges, a groundbreaking solution emerged. The Gothard Tunnel, proposed in the 1992 referendum and subsequently approved by Swiss voters. The plan also garnered support for transitioning all goods transport from roads to railways. Rock excavation for the Gothard Tunnel commenced in 2000, achieving its first breakthrough in 2010 through the use of a 410-meter-long boring machine equivalent to four football pitches. A staggering 28 million tons of rock were excavated, with the majority recycled into concrete for the tunnel's construction. Officially opened in December 2016, the Gothard Tunnel surpassed Japan's 54-kilometer Seikan Rail Tunnel, becoming the world's longest. Europe's previous record holder, the 50.1-kilometer Channel Tunnel between France and the UK, was relegated to third place. Presently, over 250 freight trains traverse the Gothard Tunnel daily, significantly reducing environmental damage compared to heavy trucks. Additionally, 60 passenger trains, some reaching speeds exceeding 250 km per hour, traverse the tunnel each day, cutting travel times from Switzerland to Italy to less than 20 minutes. The Gothard Tunnel project incurred a substantial cost of $12 billion, but the revenue generated from transported goods and passenger trains is projected to exceed $400 million annually. Furthermore, environmental costs associated with heavy trucks estimated at $100 million are saved, making the considerable construction expenses easily recoverable. What's your opinion on these huge mega-projects? Have you ever visited one? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.